diversity in his gameplay. Yeah, he did. Maybe I'm just getting online Finio. You might be. <laughs> You're getting weekday Finio. You're not getting <laughs> tournament weekend Finio. All right, Bark's already looking sharp. Dude, I don't know how people play this matchup and have fun, <laughs> like on either side. So on the positive side of commentary, I would like to say that, <laughs> <laughs> that uh, <laughs> uh, KD3 got some good uh, good hits in there, and you know they're both playing some honest neutral right now. Up B. That oh, works too. Okay, that he was really risky. Could have died back on. Cause yeah. He with the backside of downer. A lot of Falcons don't go for that up B, though, even though it's the most optimal thing to do. Yeah, it would literally kill at, like, 80-something percent, especially if they're doing a tech situation. Yeah. It's just guaranteed. All right. I feel like, in general, KD's very about the aerial stuff. Yeah, he is. Though he just did the patented KD3 pivot, pivot, up smash <laughs> that he always does. <laughs> All right, he's going to run up and up smash again, run maybe? Up, run up down air. <laughs> oh, <laughs> we were both wrong. <laughs> Clearly, KD3 is better at this game than both of us, and we should shut the fuck up. <laughs> oh, that was really good forward air from Bark. That was, like, beautiful. Great chill jump. Yeah, great Daily. up air, too. Ooh, that's unfortunate. Did you try to drop zone air there? So, down. Oh. He's way too far for that. Dude, I wanted uh, KD3 to dash attack there so bad. <laughs> this is why he plays Falcon and I don't. <laughs> <laughs> so, like, it's hard to even say, like, who's in the lead right now. Like, I know that's, like, you know, like... I would say it definitely feels like Josh has control of the game, at least from how I'm watching it. I mean, he has control, sure. <laughs> Not just because he's winning, but it's just it feels like, I don't know, maybe I'm biased. See, like, I feel like playing Falcon is like when somebody, like, brings a gun to a fist fight, but they don't know how to use the gun. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? That's actually a very great description. <laughs> like, you could at any time kill the other person, but that doesn't mean you will, and you could shoot yourself in the foot. Up smash. Ooh, Ooh that was beautiful. Dude, I would have ran up down air so many times here as KD. Because he, like, it's kind of hard to react to that. Oh, this yeah. might be it. Oh. Oh, he de-inputted it too, too quickly. That was unfortunate. So what I like to do in those situations where Josh is just running, like, running mm -hmm. around, mm -hmm. not jumping at all, is you just run up down air. And it's kind of hard to react with up tilt at times. Yeah. And since Falcon is so fat, depending on where he hits you with the up tilt, you can still get out a lot of the time. The only person I've ever seen actually punish that, or only people I've ever seen punish Boom. that, are Alvin and Boom. Boom punishes it, like, consistently. Yeah, it's insane. <laughs> uh, KD3. Or, uh, uh, Bark, I'm sorry. Yeah, Josh did. Bark. Dude, I wonder what it's like to DI. I would never have lived that, ever. <laughs> you just gotta be a Hori mm. cheater. <laughs> That's does all KD play Hori? He does. Oh, no wonder. <laughs> Because KD doesn't really DI that much if you watch his hand, but he's got the Hori Cheater effect. Someone says they love you and they miss you. Uh, I don't know who that is. Uh, they I don't know. He doesn't know who you are. Sorry. Yeah. Sorry I'm to say. I'm the positive one now. <laughs> <laughs> I thought you were going to. I'm about to call. <laughs> Wait, who is that? <laughs> yeah, who is it? Oh, it might be Austin. Maybe oh, it's Austin. Shit. Okay, Josh so is taking the command and lead here, but this is kind of how the matchup goes. It's yeah, like you can just get destroyed one game and do well the other. Do you think we're gonna see the switch from KD? Probably not. I mean, what would he switch to Pika? Yeah, KD. he has done Pika dittos recently, and he did well. Yeah. I feel like he should stick to Falcon. If he's gonna bring it back, it's probably gonna be with Falcon. Man, look at look at this. He listened to you <laughs> and he ignored me. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> he just ran straight to him and didn't do anything. Oh. Bark waited. He knew. Katie's playing a little antsy right now. Okay. 
forward air, up air, up D. Yep. And Bark's gonna go high. Oh, wow. I know nothing about this Whoa. game. That was a beautiful down tilt. Uh, I'm surprised he thought to do that. That was a questionable down air. Because, like, though. I would think he would try to do up tilt instead. Yeah. Because he was coming off of the down air. Bark is so good at doing that. Dude, that that's the thing with this matchup. A lot of it is, can you get away during your invincibility? invincibility. Like, look, if he should be able to kill off of this. I think oh, it's you could have upbeat. You would have died. There we go. That <laughs> goes works. for the hardest thing possible. You know, like, <laughs> yeah, I want to do this up B specifically. Like, you know, even though it is boring, honestly, like just doing the Alvin, going to left side of Dreamland and grabbing ledge repeatedly is like the best option. That's literally what I do now, <laughs> as Falcon and some other characters too. Just seems like the most optimal. Like, there's no reason not to do it. It's just it's boring, but it works. Wow, I can't believe he didn't die off of that. Ledge? Oh. Okay. Oh, yep. I like the up tilt. Yeah, that was yeah. a smart idea. He couldn't really cover high without... I mean, that's just the matchup. You can only cover one thing a lot of the time. That was like a classic KD3 moment. He's really good. I think, like, KD3 is really... Ooh, that's it. I feel like a lot of those times, KD, if he would have just reacted to Josh being in front of him, he could have grabbed him. Because yeah. a lot of times he was just like on his ass. He would run by him and then try to do another move. Yeah. It's weird, too, because like, I feel like KD3, like the thing that he excels in the most uh, that I don't see from other players, it's two things. And I think they're like they really play to this matchup. One, he has like the crispiest shield jumps of any human being in existence. Yeah, he's really good at that. Like, I haven't seen anybody better than him at it. Was That, that was winner's final, so did KD play Robert off stream? I believe so, yes. What was that matchup, do you know? I have no idea. 